Croton or Codium variegatum is a genus of tropical evergreen shrubs grown mainly for their striking foliage. It is a member of the Euphorbiaceae family and native to tropical Asia and western Pacific region. Crotons can be grown outdoors in USDA zones 11 to 12. In tropical and subtropical climates, they are used as hedges or specimen plants in the landscape. They are best grown as decorative houseplants in colder regions. Crotons can grow up to 10 feet tall with brilliantly colored, glossy, leathery leaves. They come in a wide variety of leaf shapes and colors which include reds, oranges, yellows, pinks, purple, greens, and white. Crotons are monoecious which means the male and female flowers are present on the same plant. They usually flower in early spring. And when flowers are properly pollinated, they produce small round fruits containing three seeds. Crotons, as with other plants in the Euphorbia family, are poisonous to humans and pets when ingested. The milky sap can cause contact dermatitis in susceptible individuals. Crotons can be planted any time of the year. They grow best in well-draining soil that is kept slightly moist. If planted in the landscape, amend the soil with lots of compost to improve drainage. When planted in containers, use a quality potting mix with coconut core. Select containers that is one-third larger than the root ball, and has enough drainage holes in the bottom. Crotons don't do well in overly wet soil as this will lead to the leaves dropping and root rot. Crotons grown outdoors require full sun in the morning, and dappled shade in the afternoon. For best leaf color, indoor plants should be placed in the brightest spot in the house. Higher light produces more vibrant color in the leaves. The foliage will lose the bright colors if they get too much shade. Water crotons regularly to keep the soil moist. But avoid excessive watering. And do not let the plants get too dry. Plants will drop their leaves if they are kept too wet or too dry for extended periods of time. As a tropical plant, it does best with moderate to high humidity. This can be achieved by placing the pot on a bed of wet pebbles. Or they can be placed in the kitchen or bathroom that has a bright window. Keep them away from areas that gets cold air. Feed crotons with an 8 to 10 mix of granular fertilizer during the active growing seasons in spring, summer and early fall. Stop feeding during late fall and winter. Prune crotons in early spring before new growth begins. This will encourage bushier growth. There are no serious insect or disease problems that affect crotons. Mealy bugs and spider mites may be attracted to the plants when grown indoors. But they can be eliminated by applying horticultural oil on the leaves and stems. Crotons can be propagated with 4 to 6 inch stem cuttings. Remove the lower leaves and place the cutting in a container of water. The roots will form in a few weeks. When roots form, they can be replanted in a pot with fresh potting mix. When crotons grow too large for their container, they can be repotted in a slightly larger pot in springtime. The popular varieties of crotons are. Codium variegatum petra has green leaves with red, orange, and yellow veins. Codium variegatum gold star has green leaves that are splashed with bright yellow spotting. Codium variegatum Eleanor Roosevelt has long, slender leaves of medium green, dotted with golden yellow spots, changing with age to dark red. Codium variegatum oak leaf has oak leaf shaped dark green or bronze leaves, with veins in yellow, orange, and red. Add a splash of color to your landscape or home by planting crotons. They are easy to grow and easy to propagate. The beautiful leaves of the croton are also used to enhance floral arrangements. Thank you for watching.